bugs and still to come. See what happens when Sarah visited my house to help with a little spring cleaning. It's all just a little too bizarre to miss. Stick around because the screensavers will be right back. But first, how about Jessica giving you an office tip? What's going on, Savers? I mean, Josh was pulling the ripcord from the get-go. Yoshi's sucking wind. What's going on? Come on. Okay, <laughs> Windows XP offers lots of security, but so does Office XP. In Word, you can password protect a specific, a specific file. From your saved document, click Tools, go to Options, then you want to click on that Security tab there, and then you want to type in the password like Hunky, <laughs> and then you're ready, steady to go, you guys. Rockin' more screen savers coming on up. Wow, this is just like Roderick Crawford on Highway Patrol. <laughs> Welcome back to the Screen Savers. I'm Patrick Norton. Coming up in this half hour. You don't want to miss Sarah's blog report. She's going to be talking about everything from the Matrix to robots. It's, well, maybe it's a little narrower field than we thought. We'll find out who the high scores are in our land party, which apparently isn't going to be any of the screensavers. But first, Sarah is here to share with you some secrets she learned while visiting my house. Yes, share I did. Share carefully. Uh, it's no secret. We have a huge digital digs giveaway this month. Mm -hmm. Tech TV is going to pick a lucky fool and just hook their place up. Jessica's going to tell you a little bit more at about it later in the show. But I've been celebrating this event by visiting the homes of our own boys here at the Screensavers that we all know and love, checking out their digs today. It's my man, Patrick. Can you guess where I am today? Red Harley Davidson means only one thing to me, Patrick Norton. Today, he's gonna do a little spring cleaning and I am gonna check out his digital digs. Let's go. This is definitely your kind of place. What do we have going on here today? What we're doing is when we moved in here, we like set the DSL up before we even started unpacking boxes. And we didn't really take our time doing it. We sort of threw it up. So you get the end results up there. The DSL filters hanging off of a nail. And we want to get rid of the really cool ethernet hung over the garage door hanger. That's not pretty. No. All right. All right, went to the hardware store, picked up some staples, but you know what? Check these out. These little plastic clips, a lot of people really like using these, and they're great. Like if you're running cabling around the baseboards of your house and they're white and stuff. We're gonna do something a little faster, a little dirtier. It's not quite as pretty, right? And basically staple these round staples over all the cabling. But you know what? We're in the basement, so we don't have to sweat it. Right. We'll open that. This is called the attacker. I like it. Ready to get going? Break! This is like tools and stuff. I'm excited! Come on! <laughs> Here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort out some of the mess up there. You're going to need this. All right. Second thing you're going to need is probably... To stand on that? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you need a couple phone books. Lefty Lucy. Righty tidy. Yeah. The agility with the hands is astounding. <laughs> Everyone should have a wasted youth in construction. For the record, Pat smells really good. If we were smart and took all this stuff off of these posts, these blocks, before we started putting them into the wall, it would be a lot easier to get to them. So Patrick, you need me for anything here? No, I'm good. I'll need you when we do the ether that. Sounds good. Okay. Let's go snoop. Forget the George Foreman grill. How about the 12 volt sandwich maker with non stick cooking plates for trucks, autos, RVs, or boats? Oh, okay. That's better. So, what I really want to do is rewire the entire house because we still don't know where like four of these lines go. Oh, Patrick, Patrick, you are so hunky. I don't know what this is. Oh, Patrick, Patrick, cute like a monkey. So for now, we're just going to clean it up, staple the ones we know are good to places where we know they are, and leave the rest of it alone. Oh, Patrick, Patrick. <laughs> Mail's here. Mail. Hi. <laughs> Patrick's wetsuit. Patrick's wetsuit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sarah, you want to uh, pull these out from over there? 
sure. You really think the man would own a ladder, don't you? So. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> That's a decent book. Are you done yet? A couple more minutes. So, we screwed all this stuff down so we don't have to worry about it falling off of the roof in here. The DSL modem's up here, the wireless router's down here, they're both secured to the wall. We got our power strip up here. Now I can actually turn everything off with one switch. That way if I got to reset the DSL on the router, I can do it that quick. It's not perfect. You know what? We still got the world's ugliest phone cable hanging down, but you know what? I think it's a lot better. What do you think, Sarah? <coughs> so, what do you think? <clears throat> Looks real good. I gotta go. So when are you going to bring my helmet back? I actually sold it to Yoshi for like five bucks. And the motorcycle lock? Yeah. eBay. eBay. That's... Sorry. Uh, 150 euros. It was taking so long. <laughs> I had to do something. Anyway, for a step-by-step -step on how to tidy up the rat's nest of cables at your house, just like Patrick did, <laughs> head to our website at thescreensavers.com. We have outtakes there, too. They're really cool. That could be really scary. Oh, yeah. Stay where you are, folks. To partition or not to partition, that's the question. Our Linux using caller coming up next once answered. But first, Sarah's blog report. Hey. Let's play that thing in the show. And am I, am I in the light? I feel like I'm kind of dark. I look kind of dark. How's that? Oh, there you oh, can there see me now. Listen, I'm, I want you to notice the color of my outfit today. What do you think? Sort it's of a sort of green. Progressive olive. Let's think movies for a second in the color <laughs> progressive. progressive olive. Watch. Fried green this. tomatoes? We know he's mean. We know he is green. What we do not know is how he grows ten times his original size and still keeps his pants on. The Hulk! We are talking about the Hulk! Ding, ding, give the man a prize. This weekend, Moreau gets to see acclaimed director Ang Lee's vision for this classic comic book character. It may or may not have all the markings of a summer blockbuster. Critics are still up in the air about it. We are going to give you a sneak peek and also take a look at the technology behind the big old green meanie tonight on Tech Live. Right after the screensavers, and don't make me mad or I'll turn into the Hulk. Hundred dollars, oh! but, oh! but by French press. But that's... but but come on, uh, Carmel Macchiato. Seriously, it's that's not like twenty three, but that's... it's at least five bucks, yeah, right? It, no, it's three fifty. But can I just get like a hundred dollar one and go ch and, mm. ch and be could, done with it? Or but it's just... not going to be as cool. Also, this this Seiko digital espresso maker, part yeah. of the digital digs giveaway. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah, I like see. that. Yep. Anyway, tune in for more about the Seiko very expensive digital espresso maker tonight <laughs> at 8:30 on Fresh Gear. Thanks, I'm holding